set of minutes is the last set of minutes that was prepared by our our loyal minute taker, um, um, Jackie Flood. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think they're very good. If anyone has any questions or comments, want to take a minute to read through them, I've given them out to everyone. And uh, we can uh, approve them if that's okay with everybody. Thank you. We have a second. I'll second. Seconded by Karen. Uh, any discussion? Matt, you okay for a vote? All those in favor of the motion to approve? Any abstaining uh, or objecting? None. All were in favor, and these minutes are approved. Um, the next item of business, well, I just wanted to remember Re Jackie and... Um, I guess most of us were went to our uh, memorial service or memorial meeting up in uh, Bedford, and uh, should be a big loss and hard to fill. We've got some uh, issues to discuss. I think with the town council, we're now down five people from our allotted number of members, and that includes if Peter is still with us. I didn't know if Peter was coming or not, but I've set out a place for him. And um, So we're down five people? We're down five, yes. We're allowed nine, and we've got, no, we're allowed, we're allowed nine uh, other than those who are specifically designated to perform for a particular function in town. For instance, Matt is representing the SAU here in the school district, and uh, his position, and Karen is representing the library, you're representing the, uh, I think you're representing the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce. Never heard from them. No, uh, I'm not. I, I don't think they, uh, they recognize us as an entity. I, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. It's all right. <laughs> we'll get along fine without them. Okay. Tall and carry a big stick. That's all. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Going on then to all business on our agenda. <clears throat> um, we've got the uh, first item is the uh, status of the planning board's NRPC study. Uh, that study was <coughs> ready for, we thought was ready for adoption last time. Uh, it's still, we still have never heard from the state of New Hampshire, but the chair of the planning board and the uh, community development department have agreed that we would go ahead and adopt this and, uh, and make it part of our process. Hopefully, it will satisfy the DOT's original request for us to prepare a, uh, a, a master plan for Route 3. This is for Route 3 sidewalks, okay. So it overlaps with us a little bit because we have Route 3, but we also have some stuff that isn't Route 3. Being the town center, we overlap Route 3 and, and several other things. So at any rate, where that is right now is they've got to clean up some of the language in it, and it will be adopted. I would hope by the next time we meet, I can tell you that it's been adopted. It doesn't in any way conflict with what we're trying to do and sort of reinforces it, in, uh, if anything. So that's in the works. The Sahegan River Trail, and the next thing I want to report to you on, is moving very slowly. I had a schedule from them. Uh, they're now two months behind that schedule, and I got the schedule three months ago. So. Uh, gives you an idea of the priority of this thing with the, uh, um, it's, apparently they've got to do a couple more surveys. They did, they finished it, they did the survey over again. As you know, we had a free contribution of a, of a land survey on that site, 
and uh, they, in their wisdom, decided it didn't quite cover everything they wanted to cover, so they're going to go back and do it all over again. Who's they? They being the, uh, well, I'm not sure where the driver comes from. It's the, this is being managed and run by quantum engineering. Okay, quantum engineering is the engineering firm that has been hired to do the design. And they have uh, been the ones who decided that we needed to do the survey over, which we've now done. And uh, they're in the process now of finalizing that and with all of their data. Uh, Dawn is out today and tomorrow, so I couldn't get a current status. This status I'm giving you is of about a week ago. So uh, that's where that is. It's moving along at a glacial pace. Um, oh, besides the fact that they're two months behind, they say they're going to make that up as we go along. So we still expect to go out to bid in the spring. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, additions for the TCC on the town website. Has anything happened there, Bill? Uh, no, I need to talk to Becky. Uh-huh. Yes. She's right in the next room. I know. I'll go see yeah. her right after. Okay. I'll just knock on her door. You don't even have to knock. You can walk right in. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it an open desk it's concept? It's an open, open, that? open, right. open concept. Awesome. Right. Yeah, which means you can't, you cannot escape if you try to go by. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the walk to school day was held October 2nd, and I was happy to hear that from Matt. That's, uh, that's an event that ties in with our desire to build a more walkable community here, and, uh, and uh, it uh, uh, gives anything special you want to tell uh, us all about that? As always, um, Rick Grenier, the uh, physical education teacher at the upper elementary school, Mm -hmm. uh, it's really responsible for organizing this event. Uh, mm -hmm. It was exceedingly well attended. Uh, the police department were there uh, to escort the kids and take place in the whole event. Uh, lots of parents joined us, lots of teachers. Uh, Bill Morris and Marsha McGill, the principal and assistant principal of uh, the upper elementary school, were there. Um, it's it's a great event for the kids. I think it gives them something to kind of look forward to, and it's a fun kind of thing to get them in the yeah. in the in the habit of of looking at that area as a walkable asset yeah. to the oh. town, mm -hmm. which could lead me into another area because there's something I want to I want to bring I want to bring up Good. at some point. In okay, time. well we look forward to that too. Okay, <laughs> yeah. when you. If you would give me permission now, I could just kind of... Why not go it. right into it, since you've got okay. us all tweaked up here. You have our attention now, man. Yeah, have your yeah. attention. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You know, for Build up. 15, 16, 17 years, we've been talking about the new central office. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. And where to put the central office, how to build the central office, mm -hmm. how much should the central office be. We purchased Brentwood primarily for the... For the land, mm -hmm. not for the yeah. building, because yeah. the building uh, really is not the selling point. It's the land, and it's uh, <coughs> adjacent to our property, so it makes it made sense to acquire that. Yeah. So we acquired that, and people were looking at maybe perhaps doing a renovation of that building, but that's really not uh, something that is feasible, mm -hmm. given the current condition of the building and given the current. Uh, structure of how it was put together one edition after another edition with you know varying roof lines and everything like that and uh, we had a meeting with uh, Sullivan construction who brought in contractors who took a look pop ceiling tiles and they're just not sure about whether or not it's um, something that would be advantageous to renovate and their their recommendation was to be to tear it down so in looking at that and at looking at planning for a central office, we're kind of looking at a bigger picture now. Mm -hmm. It's just not about central office. 
but the entire Merrimack High School, Upper Elementary School, Master Cola Elementary School campus. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to take that building down and we're going to take the greenhouse down, Soup's office, and the blue house down, special services office, that opens up a world of possibilities. And we want to probably in this year's budget coming up make a request to hire a professional engineer to come in and to look at that area and do kind of a, a master plan for it to be a whole campus mm -hmm. that is more than just school district, but it's community access. Because I'm there all day long, and when I go out, I see lots of people walking around, doing the loop, doing whatever. So we'd like to look at it as putting in that, that entire loop, redoing the traffic, because anybody who's been there when it's 2.15 or so, <coughs> the traffic with the, the high school kids getting out can be rather challenging. And we want to redo the traffic. We want to kind of look at it, get community input, probably get this committee's input, get the input of the planning board, uh, the public, and schedule that for next in next year's budget. So we really want to come up with a holistic plan hmm. that could make this entire area, we're calling it the, the high school campus, an asset to the community because we feel it is an asset, but it's an underdeveloped mm -hmm. asset. You know, you could have your sidewalks, you could have little areas where there'd be some benches. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can do once we kind of look at that as a blank slate. And we want to take a long-term view at it to try and blend it all together mm -hmm. and make it a community space that the community can feel free to use and enjoy and to organize it in such a fashion that we haven't really had the opportunity to in the past. You know about our buildings and the population increases and everything like that. Mm -hmm. You can look at the high school, there's probably six different editions on that high school. You look at the upper elementary school, there's like, I don't know how many editions on that high school, on that, on that school. Master Cole Elementary School, okay, well let's join MES, let's join the upper elementary school and put the Smith Gym there. There, mm -hmm. that was another edition. Mm -hmm. And so this gives us the opportunity to kind of wipe the slate clean, look at these buildings not being there, ascertain a good spot for perhaps a central office, and then look at how we could make this whole area better for people parking during the day, people <coughs> entering and accessing the facility, and people utilizing it for their own enjoyment during the day. So we want to try and tie it all in. I don't have the answers. We don't have the answers. That's why we want, we've worked with VHB in the past. Mm -hmm. You're probably familiar with them. We are, yeah. Good org organization. Yeah. We work with Steve Keach in the past. Mm -hmm. Obviously, good, great company. Yeah. Um, we're kind of entering some sort of discussions, and it'll probably come up in this year's budget season to uh -huh. take a look at. You know, one of the areas we want to look at is uh, the high school parking, where they park currently um, in those dirt areas and whatnot. Yeah. And believe it or not, I, ha I have on my, my iPad a plan from 2004 that shows 100 parking spaces across from the back lot of Master Cola Elementary School, directly in there. Yeah. And so that was from 2004, but it, it, didn't, it didn't go anywhere. Yeah. So that can be a piece of it to give them more parking, get them out of the dirt. Um, Rich Hendricks, who is the mm -hmm. chairman of the school district's planning and building committee, they're an elected committee. Mm -hmm. uh, they serve at the pleasure of the board. Did a presentation recently where he showed some tennis courts in the area. Not back where the tennis courts used to be, but we own an acre of land behind the Brentwood building. Yeah. It's, a squ it's a perfect square and it's an acre that the town gifted to us probably 10 years ago now. <coughs> and that would be a great place for tennis courts. 
so the high school team would have that yeah. and plus after the high school team is done using it then it could be used by the public, the public. sure and so yeah. that's what we kind of want to look at that's just one thought that was brought out there mm -hmm. but it's all part of a master plan that we want to create to create a high school campus that's inviting to students to faculty to parents and to the general citizenry of of Merrimack as a whole yeah we want to make it a mm -hmm. we want to make it kind <coughs> of a little jewel in town basically mm -hmm. and that's what we're looking at and that's my speech <laughs> oh it's a great exciting. speech like that's, it. that's, <laughs> yeah. that's it's for yeah. me I, I've been here for 20 years and so I've seen you know the building the middle school putting in public kindergarten half day full day kindergarten rearranging all the grade levels everything like that and we've we've very rarely had a chance to take a step back take time hire professionals do a d bunch of different scenarios have a lot of public debate discourse yeah. whatever and input and to put something forward yeah. so even if this, this ultimately becomes an exercise that's on a piece of paper mm -hmm. at least it's on a piece of paper and it's something that we can work towards yeah. in the future so everything we do would be based upon that so we're not cutting off our, our nose to spite our face if we put the central office if that gets put on the ballot sometime in the future where the high school kids should be exiting you know so we want to be thoughtful about what we do yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. and technically Good. technically is this not town center well, of course, it's part of the town center. It's certainly. part of the town center, yeah, but yeah. from a gathering standpoint, you have your Fourth of July here. Mm -hmm. You have um, a lot of activities that happen in this area. You've got the the football games. You've got everything. The what? The football games. Friday night football. Oh, football. Friday. Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> You're a funny man. Anyway, <laughs> but isn't it part of it, it? Is part of the town center, but couldn't it be more prominent in becoming part of the town center as a vision? Yeah. Maybe that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know that to yeah. be true. But we want to take the time to find out. Yeah. So. Well, the town center involves more than just the school and its uh, absolutely, adjuncts, but it's certainly a big, big part of it. And yes. It should be included and in our And if whatever we can yeah. do yeah. can fold in nicely with yeah. the work that's being done by this committee, yeah. see, that's what we need to take into account yeah. also. Yeah. So look at it holistically, just not hey, school district, we'll make it nice, we'll do this. No, let's look at the entire plan yeah. that is part of the town center committee mm -hmm. and see how it fits and see how it could be of an asset. Yeah, yeah. You know, and plan it out. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of excited to, if the, with the possibility of, 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 of working with whoever I need to work with to see this through. But I think it's a worthwhile exercise and something we should take a look at at this point in time. Well, I think so too, Matt, and I know that Peter <coughs> Flood is into this in a big way. He yeah. has a big, big ideas for the entrance to the school, and he was, t you know, and it all ties together with what you're saying, yeah. and making it sort of a focal point for the center of town. Yeah. And um, it certainly, you know, it ties in with our idea of building sidewalks on the Grand Bridge Correct. Road. Correct, yep, and exactly. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and so that was really uh, yeah. was really good good to hear, and I think we we would support it as a committee and yeah. and so on. Do you think there will be something in this year's budget cycle to allow that study to go forward, or is it too soon to the tell? The board is talking about yeah. ra uh, putting in an appropriation for a certain sum of money. Yeah. Uh, in the twenty twenty one budget. <clears throat> that's the next one yes. coming up yeah okay yeah to do that yeah so we have to raise the money in order to do the study in yeah. order to go through the process yeah. so you familiar with the charrette process uh, I yes yeah that's yes, sort of I am yeah goes with this they used that process in 
developing ideas for the uh, Watson Park, I know, and there was another time in town where we used charrettes. I don't remember what they were. But anyway, you invite all anybody interested yes. to come in. Yep. They no, give I'm a familiar presentation, yeah. Yeah. and then you put all the wackiest ideas together and and make them try and fit together and see right. what comes out of it. it, it it's a good process and there are groups that at one time there were groups that were doing mm -hmm. this as a favor for the towns so it was a bunch mm -hmm. of architects in New Hampshire who were working it with towns I haven't heard that term in a long time but I remember it yeah oh yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. something to poke around at and see you might get some help you might even get some free help uh, for that part of it not yes. for the engineering part correct of it. Yeah. yeah yeah okay good and like I said, when, what you said with Mr. Flood talking about um, giving the high school a presence. I don't know how many times I get out of my car and I see parents, you know, wh where's the high school? Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. What? yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the girls' field hockey game? I said, well, you've got to go all the way down, the, go through, go around O'Gara, and then go before you hit the police station. Look on your right, you will see girls playing mm -hmm. field hockey. That's the... That's where the, the fields are. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a lack of <coughs> knowing where things are, even with community mm -hmm. people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. especially visitors. Yeah. You know, yeah, come, come out in. of town. We're it, playing it, Amherst, and you got people coming in from Amherst, and they're looking like, well, where's the high school? Okay, well, where's the field? Where's yeah. this? Where's yeah. that? Yeah. And it's not about just putting a bunch of signs in. Mm -hmm. Well, it's no. A, it's that's a piece. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a piece of it. Yeah. But yeah. there's much more we can do, I think. Stru not s well structurally or design way to to kind of point people in the correct direction mm -hmm. the direction and to give the high school a sense of this is Merrimack yeah. High School yeah yeah and to give it some more prominence I know those are lofty words and everything like that but I really believe that it should have a sense of prominence when you drive up to it and say this is Merrimack High School because mm -hmm. it instills yeah. a sense of pride in the community yeah. when they see that mm -hmm. and it all depends you know is is it important enough to in the end to to fund yeah and we let yeah. the people decide yeah but at least I'd like to have a plan so people could look at it so they can make yeah. a decision yeah so that's all I wanted to say mm -hmm. while I was here well that's very good and if you don't mind uh, I will <coughs> repeat some of that <coughs> Uh, because uh, next week I give our annual report to the mm -hmm. town council yeah. in Merrimack. So yeah. if this is okay to talk yes, about it. Yes, it is. Of yeah. course, we're on public We're on public TV. Now. We yeah. talked about it at the school board level yeah. last school yeah. board meeting. And the board, the board is on board. Oh, the board is on board. Boy, mm -hmm. that, you know, <laughs> that's good. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the board, the board is, uh, you know, behind this. So. Yes. Good. Yeah. Well, thanks, Matt. That's great. Thank you. That's great. I wish Very Peter were here like to it. hear Let that. Let us so know do how I. We can support you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Great. We'll uh, we'll do that. Yeah. Thanks. If we need special meetings or whatever. We can do it. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's okay. Right. Now you need to get the voters <laughs> behind it. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see yeah. where it takes us. It's going to yeah. be a journey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My instant reaction was you're talking about combining I mean the word park came into my head I mean I'm thinking about Jackie and and Watson well, Park and so uh, on yeah. but so you said for community use so I'm thinking can we is there such a thing as being able to meld together a school area and a public park area and that brought me instantly to um, security that was brought up at the board meeting too by brandy nunez she brought that up too and security is a, is a biggie that's a that's a consideration I, I, I mean i remember when the upper elementary school was being developed and we didn't like making the playground area on Babusik Lake Road I know look like a penitentiary with all but for safety and security right. for those kids we really needed to do that and from my perspective that would just 
and of course, I, I didn't say anything because this is all something that will be thoroughly hashed out. Right. But those were the first <clears throat> things that came to my mind, not as negative so much as this would have to be addressed. This would have to be addressed. So. Yeah, correct. Good but point. otherwise, I think it's <clears throat> great. Yeah, thank you. I've heard input on the playground <laughs> as far as the upper elementary school. <laughs> Stan Heinrich, of, of which you, yes, you, you know, know Stan, Stan very well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. he always gives me a hard time calling yes. it the exercise yard. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, he's, he's, it's what else forever do? he's been doing that. But it was yeah. kind of like we, we took the school district planning and building committee and other people. I think we had the fire chief there. We had a lot of people there. And we just walked the grounds. And we're like, where can we put a playground? There it is. And, and not take away from the, the sporting field. Correct, correct. Because yeah. you, you had underground sprinkler systems here, mm -hmm. sporting fields, softball fields, field hockey fields, field, 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 field. Where is their land? Yeah, I remember. That was the only place. I know. Yeah. I know, but I remember standing there on duty thinking, these poor kids, it's all cement. We live in the middle of the gorgeous woods, and it's all cement because yeah. the fields couldn't take the kind of wear that they were going to get that's correct yeah i know i remember yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know i know you do <laughs> yeah so, so anyway uh, but that's my own my that's, only that's input I, of course i'm yeah. for it i think i think with a little bit of creative design and thought and input from all different kinds of people who also may be thinking out of the box it could it, something maybe unique could be yeah could be come up with and that I think that would be wonderful yeah, wonderful you, for the town yeah you have you you know and you 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 would you would want to garner opinions from an entire cross-section I mean you have people who have been here who have a wealth of knowledge <laughs> about oh did I just point your direction <laughs> I think I did I think it who, have, who have a wealth <laughs> of knowledge it's got a nail in it it has a nail in it has a wealth of knowledge about the community and the history and everything like that and uh, you know plus you have new people coming in who mm -hmm. might be looking for something so to to blend everything together and the historical aspect of this whole sure. thing bringing bringing that in that that that's invaluable because you know that that information is is always critical in anything you look when you're going forward have to know where you've been and how things yeah. have Evolved. been developed along the yeah. line yeah you know, so yeah yeah that's what we're looking at very good Just very little, good i'm little. pleased to hear that and uh, yeah. we'll be looking for uh, uh, a monthly report <laughs> monthly report <laughs> once we once we get into it and yeah. we uh, yeah. we uh, you know, let's say if the funding happens and we start this off uh, next year, yeah, you, I would be, ha I would definitely do that to let you yeah, know where we're great. at. Good, absolutely. Good. Look forward to supporting it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Matt. That's great news. Okay, the next item on our agenda. Uh, anybody want to talk any more about that, or should we leave that and no, go on to the next item, uh, which is built? Yeah. which is Bill, Bill Cummings' uh, project. <laughs> the school teachers, yeah, you're under new business, you oh, see, excellent. and it's the uh, videoing of the Sohegan River Trail, which was almost going to be tomorrow. It's almost going to be tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Yep. But and then we had a couple of hiccups being that um, both students, students who want to do it, who yeah. want to do it, yeah. um, are involved with a theater production. Uh -huh. And... Apparently, they would feel more comfortable if they could do it after. To me, to me, it, it matters not. So, uh, I. What do you mean by after? After after, what? after the production is done. After oh the yeah. Play. Well, we've yeah. canceled it for tomorrow. Yeah, we have canceled it for tomorrow. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the reason. Yeah, and we're yeah. going to reschedule it when we figure out when they're available yeah right? and then fire chief courier came up with another another tasty morsel which is the fact that they've got we've got poison ivy yes that's uh, on the way uh, down yeah. yes and that is right. something um that's going to be there now poison ivy is still poisonous when the leaves are all off it you know if you if you get in touch with those vines mm -hmm. or roots or anything like that, the, the poison is still in there. You can catch poison ivy in the dead of winter yep. from, from, the, oh, yeah. uh, from the vines. Yeah. Well, that's, I, I asked him the question. Yeah. He didn't answer. He just said, just sound good. Sounds good. 
Yeah, and you just, you're postponed. just going to have to be careful, that's yeah. all. We're not going to be able to kill it all before <laughs> it takes time to kill poison ivy. Well, but, yeah. Um, the issue is we're going to have a video uh, filming of the present condition of the sluice way and where the trail is going. We could have it a before and after, you yeah. know, as we put this all together in the future. And uh, now's the time to get the before, before they start doing anything. Right. And uh, we thought this fall would be nice, the leaves are colorful, everything would look nice. Then we find out that those colorful leaves are poison ivy, yeah. and uh, there's a lot of it down <coughs> there. And so they lovely? Oh, that's awful. So uh, we're going to have to warn people and be very careful oh, yeah. in uh, going in. You, you, I think we can work around it, but the kids should know, and they should know that the vines themselves are, can be poisonous. It's not as active in the winter, but if you, I know people who have gone in in the winter to tear it up, and that's when you get, you get it in the dead of winter. Yeah. It's in the it's in the vines. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's a risk to any student who volunteers. That's as right. Well as yeah. Us. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you ought to tell Sean to see that if he doesn't know it already, mm -hmm. and uh, just to warn the kids. And I'll go down. I haven't looked at that in a while. We could go down and have a look at it and see see if there's a way of walking around it without getting into the brush itself. Well, is there a way to protect yourself? I'm not much of a you know, nature person, yeah. but is there a way to protect yourself? Some something you can put over, like a stay smock, or it. just stay away <laughs> from it. <laughs> yeah. Overalls or yeah. anything like that? No. No, I guess if it gets on your clothes, you gotta you should wash your clothes. That's about the only thing I know. Uh, I don't. Yeah, you I don't treat know. it like ticks, except you you can't make sure those clothes go directly into the washing machine, and don't. Don't throw them on the floor or anything because it's 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 on, on the, the it's on the cloth yeah and it'll it'll rub on your socks. skin. You need you just you need to be covered. Yeah, and even if you're wearing gloves. Yeah. Don't don't. Yeah, touch you your face. touch your face and. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. I've never had it before, but I am not volunteering for this. I volunteered to clear a little league field for my sons when they were little, and I had never had it in my life. I, I, I'm either, not yeah. an allergic person. Who knew that I was hauling on poison ivy? My body said, oh, it's poison ivy, and the next thing I knew I was in the hospital. So, oh, wow. I mean, wow. they had to give me shots because I, it was, I was so bad. So, I don't, don't like poison ivy. Okay, <coughs> something we need to look at, Bill, yes. before see how see if there's a way of working around it and uh, s just staying away from it. Yeah. You know, and alerting the kids. Is there another way? Is there another way down there? Like well, I don't know where the poison ivy is, so that's why I say we got to go look at it. I haven't seen this. Uh -huh. uh, the chief reports there's poison ivy down there, and I, and that's all I know. So I'm going to go and look. Okay. And see what what we're dealing with. <coughs> <coughs> Now's a good time to look because the leaves will still be on the on the vines. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to be careful. That's all. Okay. Um, any anything else you want to report to us, Bill? Other than we're, no. We're uh, well, moving on it. Yeah. Uh, I was upstairs going to the wrong meeting place and Justin, I ran into Justin and he said, have you got, um, uh, did you find students? And I said, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. However, there are complications. And he said, well, if you can't, let us know. Yeah. I'd, I'd really rather have the kids do mm -hmm. it. Uh -huh. That's yeah. where my heart is. Yeah. But Justin and uh, Nicholas yeah. are willing to do it. If well, it's good to skills. keep that in mind because this project isn't going to be finished before these kids go on to graduate school <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> you know, uh, they won't be able to finish a bit at the rate the progress is being made down there or not being made. Not being made I think uh, 
we ought to have a backup with the let the kids do this part of it and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and as much as they can but mm -hmm. they're going to graduate and go on to greater things I would yeah. hope yeah, yeah. that's okay. yeah all right okay um, anything else for the TV uh, any other um, what about the town website yeah I have to talk to him. okay what did you say what was your answer to that I have to talk to uh, the lady next door right Becky oh, oh okay yeah okay uh, the longer property um, I tried to follow up with the engineer that had uh, given us the little cartoon that I showed at the last uh, TCC meeting and um, he's no longer on the job he um, uh, or the I think the developer changed engineering firms for whatever reason so he is no longer he who was reaching out to us is no longer uh, involved and I've touched base with the town and the town has heard nothing from them so it's probably something that's going to pop up one of these days but right now uh, they haven't made any particular progress with it refresh my memory I, I remember we were talking about this but where exactly is the longer property okay it's along the river okay. and it's behind um, it's the other side of Babusik Brook and it's in um, forgotten what they call that I mean do you, are there any town uh, landmarks that that's right near that I would I mean just give me an approximate okay well the approximate is it goes from the back side of Watson Park okay up along the river okay and then oh. you can come out on Twin Bridge Road which is okay so right it, it right goes the access will probably be through Twin Bridge Road so this doesn't oh okay Ooh. Twin you, Bridge Road were you at our last meeting I'm going to try I and was, find I was I and I, I did you hand out a map that was I showed a map I yes. only had one copy oh, of it okay. and it was yeah here it is yeah. and I'll give it out again and this is this map is not very good because it uh, it shows the river this is Watson Park over here and this is Twin Bridge Road up there so you can look at that that's all they've given us for uh, yeah I, d I, I actually I, I don't know I thought you gave us this uh, or some I, I, I might have given out Watson copies Park of right it. there yeah this is Watson yeah. Park yeah yeah. So it would be like this. Because they're doing construction over behind where the child the child care is across. Yeah, it's a separate piece of property. And yeah. and, and it's going all the way up though, and the behind there they yes, kind of clear cut it. I, I just I didn't know if that. That's not it. No. That's not. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, that's on hold for now. I just wanted to give you a status okay. and that let you know that this engineer is no longer involved, this uh, particular person. And um, <coughs> let me see. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about today was uh, the presentation to the town council. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an annual thing that I do where I give them feedback on what we've done all year and uh, the uh, usually I do I've got a little outline that's got a uh, that needs some work so I just would like to talk to you all about it there you, it's that, that one there Thank you. this is kind of a uh, yeah of a status of where we are I, I used to work off of uh, PowerPoints and they don't like PowerPoints so we don't do PowerPoints they don't any like PowerPoints no no they don't yeah they get something don't against begin. Microsoft or what <laughs> it's beyond my pay grade right. okay 
Yeah. Well, <laughs> I tried to do it. I tried to do it. I tried to do it in the way that was that makes them happiest. So um, I'm basically filling them in on the um, current membership. We got to talk about Jackie a little bit and and that sort of thing. And then the uh, Sahegan River Trail. I'll bring them up to date on what we're doing. Mm -hmm. The tap grant for Woodbury Street is on hold. They we're talking about. Uh, Public Works is talking about putting in just sort of a uh, placeholder into the budgets for next year. For this is for tw uh, yeah, for 2020 now, beginning in the middle of 2020 and going into 2021 is out there okay. to do something with uh, with Woodbury Street. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're, we're talking with Public Works about <coughs> that. Um, the other thing is what our, what our plan is for this year is uh, an important part of this. What are we going to do next kind of thing. Um, I've talked about, we have talked about the, um, uh, well, let's see, what's this, Ch Chamberlain Road? Oh yeah, I just mentioned the Chamberlain Road sidewalk. If you noticed, has been built. Um, not that Chamberlain Road has been rebuilt completely, and it has a sidewalk on it now. Mm. It's coming down from all of that residential to the shopping center, yeah. which is uh, which nice. is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, our public relations. We decided last time we weren't going to do anything more with the. Uh, the farmer's market, which is okay. We did do something <coughs> with the pancake breakfast, and uh, I need Peter or somebody. We, we lost a, a map somehow or other. The map never... There? What? Well, did it ever get to the breakfast? or was It, it was at the breakfast, oh, yeah. It was I after the all. breakfast. I see. Jackie somehow thought I was going to pick it up. She's the one who brought it there, but then all right. we've lost touch with Jackie. So... Uh, we'll have to see if we can find it. Um, worst comes to worst, it's the same map that's hanging on the wall outside this office. Mm -hmm. So maybe mm -hmm. if we needed it, that map shows all the trails going in, into Wildcat Falls and uh, from the from the town center. So uh, the things that we're planning to do next, I think is we talked about doing the turkey shoot is what we talked about last time mm -hmm. now um i don't know we, we i'm sure, sure we have a date for the turkey shoot the but turkey shoot is going to be i believe it's november 21st yes. yeah six and to nine p.m six to nine at the high school cafeteria 21 november <clears throat> okay now that is that what that's is the Thursday before the Thursday. that's right Thursday before okay Thursday. I'll be here it's for that I'm leaving the next day oh. for North Carolina but I'll be here for that awesome. <coughs> so um, I guess what we've got to do is we've got to find the card table <coughs> and get another map to put up there and um, have some handouts there were a lot of handouts that were given out at the pancake breakfast yeah. by the way it was Oh, 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 about 30 of each. Uh, I had two different handouts, and they they both went in Great. big numbers. So we're getting the word out yep. there, and I think we want to keep on do doing the same that. Thing, yeah. and the thing uh, is, is that I cannot. You can't do that. I cannot you said man that before. the table. Yeah. I have to do money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. At the turkey shoot. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have yeah. to work it. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Okay. I think I said I would do it. And uh, if Peter, of course, would like to do it, that's fine. But I don't know Peter's uh, availability right now. But worse comes to worse, I could do it. What I don't have is the access, the, the card table that was there. I think the floods brought. I think Jackie picked up that. That might be. I know she said she had a card table. Yeah. And that, that, that she usually used. Yeah. So I, it was probably theirs. Yeah. But um I mean there's a there are tables available the the custodians pull the lunch tables mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. 
you could use <coughs> one of them for the display. You could yeah. Just move it over there, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a card table where I would do that. But yeah. I, or or even we could borrow. You could possibly borrow one from the library. I don't know if if how many tables they bring over, but they sometimes bring some smaller ones over to, um, you know, for displays and things like that. Because yeah. they have the lottery tickets and the tur the turkey. Yeah. You know, yeah. And they have. Um, Oh, there's a thing with a deck of cards that they do, and that also is a separate yeah. thing, and so yeah. on. So, uh, Karen, who's the per is the is there a person who is sort of that I should talk to that is, is sort of in charge of all of that sort of stuff? Yeah. The, well, <coughs> the um, the executive board of the Friends of the Library has recently changed, but what I can't and so there is a new chair. Yeah. And this is a Friends of the Library Event. activity. Oh, okay. It's not really the library itself. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. it has changed this year. Yeah. All the book sales are now Friends of the Library. It's yeah. not. It's not the trustees, and all the um, and and the turkey shoot is Friends of the Library. No longer the trustees. But you know we all work and help because all the trustees yeah. are friends of the library anyway. Yeah. So, um, but I, her name is Nancy, who is the new, um, the new chairperson. And but what I will do is I can get you that information and I can email it to you. Do that. And I can yeah. do that this week. Yeah. Put me I'll in touch that. with her and then I'll communicate I'll with that. her, and make sure we get the brochures there and uh, I'll take care of that for us <clears throat> okay yes I, I will find out about that I can what's her last name I don't remember okay, okay. I, I, I got it in a report and I haven't you know mm -hmm. I haven't disseminated the report to everybody else yet yeah, yeah. so I remember reading it but I don't remember who yeah it was. that's okay uh, uh, as long as she knows but what, that I'll be calling her and what yes what the, I will yeah. I will um, I will get you information regarding the turkey shoot and I will do that within the week okay in 21 just uh, I'm gonna put that in my calendar. It wasn't even in there. And then, I think we didn't know last time exactly. We didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's fairly recent that I've gotten a definite date and location. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I might have. No. I didn't take it. I just wrote it down. And you said it was six to nine, right? Yeah. Okay. No, no. Okay. It's that's, th that's part of the reason why I can't remember because she wasn't <laughs> formerly on the executive board, and I don't know if she. But I remember seeing that name, okay. so I don't know. But I, okay. I have it at home. <clears throat> Okay, I think that pretty much takes care of what I wanted to tell the town council. Mm -hmm. um, can I ask a question well, about Woodbury? Just Street? plans for next year. What? Can yeah. I ask a question about Woodbury Street? Sure. Did can. we talking about? Did we talk about um, having maybe some traffic control signs to keep people's speed down? We did talk about <coughs> it at our meeting, and I think we decided mm -hmm. that. Um, it was something for the uh, for the uh, for consideration by the 
town traffic safety committee. Okay. And but nothing's been done about that. Maybe it would be appropriate to uh, give the chairman an action item to alert the ta traffic the uh, safety committee that we're we'd like to do something there. Uh, we'd like them to do something there. We suggest they consider doing something there. I think is more appropriate. Okay. What time is the uh, presentation? The meeting starts at 7 o'clock, and it's three or four things in the agenda. They pledge allegiance and do things. So it's um, be there at 7 if you can. <laughs> and where will it be held? It'd be in the uh, Matthew Thornton room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're all welcome. To, uh, I should have said that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, good. Come on in. Okay. Join. In. Join. I have in. a meeting at five, so maybe I'll just stay on, stay on campus. Uh, yeah, you yeah. could do that. Stay on campus. <laughs> Bring a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. I could walk down to Buckley's and get a sandwich. And yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. they close at six. You got to be yeah, careful. Close at six. I, I, I know. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's how it works there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what, is there anything else we want to suggest that we undertake next year? I guess, uh, do we want to do anything? I think this, uh, this thing that Matt has brought up is an interesting mm -hmm. project for us to get a little involved with. Uh, anything else that we, as a committee, should be doing uh, the, the, uh, while the uh, trail inches along and... The <laughs> <laughs> um, there have been some discussions that I've been involved with that involve um, Mr. McCallie and talking about the town. Mm -hmm. So I think we should be I think we should be exploring that. Well, what are you talking about with Mr. McCallie? Um just different ideas about things to do in town. You know, the idea of, um, you know, what do we do with the library, you know, these kinds of things, um, you know, things related to the center of town, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> I don't think I could just say that to the town council and let it <laughs> let it die there. Right. <laughs> I mean, you've got to be specific, I well, guess. If there's something, I'm trying to I'm trying to be as specific as I can. The um, the discussions were around m mainly around the library, the library expansion. Do we do a new library? That kind of a thing. Okay. And yeah. you know, yeah, along that line. And mm -hmm. we had also had some discussion about possibly a community center. Yeah. You know, developing a community center somewhere. An ice skating rink. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> ice skating rink. That's not that's not a priority for here. Maybe in, maybe in Ontario, but not here. Well, either that or if we're making a Hallmark movie here. You know, you have to have the ice skating. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, we're actually, the library is invest investigating the feasibility mm -hmm. of of reconfiguring and renovation and the feasibility <laughs> of a, an original build and where. And there are several architects that are interested in discussing with the committee's um, preliminary yeah. suggestions. Mm -hmm. And those are going to take place within the next two weeks. So we'll see what happens there. But Mr. McKelly's a little bit ahead of us. Yeah. And and we will we will be addressing these things specifically and publicly at some point in the not too distant future. Great. At your at your board of trustees meeting, me? No, there's oh. there's there there. Well, yes, at the board <laughs> of trustees meeting, mm -hmm. but these meetings are taking place. Um, you know, with a separate committee that is 
like an investigatory committee. And so, and then that will be reported to the trustees. Okay. So, and that all is gonna take place quite soon, before the end of the year. Hmm. So, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, good. What I didn't do is designate a minute taker for this right. meeting. I, I, I knew that. <laughs> you did, did you? Did. Oh, thank you so much. I thought I was going to have to recreate it no, myself. No. Okay, thank you, Karen. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, I realize there's just too many things to think about, so I just started writing. We'll see. It's oh, okay, whenever you can get those to me. And the <laughs> other thing... <laughs> I think, what did you say? I said it'll, it'll be, be adequate ish. ish. Oh, ish. Okay, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's all I had for the agenda. We, I think we uh, need to set time for another meeting. It probably wouldn't do, do we need another meeting before the tur turkey shoot? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. No. So do we want to meet one more time this year, say in December sometime? Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, the thing with December is it's either going to have to be at the very beginning of December. Uh-huh. Such as? The 6th. All right. I will. That's a Friday. Yep. Definitely a Friday. We do Fridays, yeah. That's <laughs> Yep. Yeah. The six, or yeah. or actually, I will be back on the by the twentieth. If anybody wants to do the Friday, that Friday. Let, let's do the sixth because there's so much that goes on mm -hmm. close to Christmas. Yeah. yeah. For me, anyway, yeah. I got family coming in and all kinds of things, and, and I'll be behind in all my shopping. Behind <laughs> in all your shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just went on Amazon and just click, click, click. Click, click, click. Well, you know, people are trying to get me to do that. <laughs> people are? People, people? my no. family, like, yeah. Dad, just go. All you got to do is, you click, know. Click, click, click. But then click. you don't know what you're getting. You don't, you, you can't look you at can't it and touch it. feel yeah. it and touch yeah. it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go out and mingle with the crowd or listen to the Christmas carols. <laughs> when it's not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's rare. Sometimes yeah. it is. <laughs> Put a record on and have a glass of wine. There you go. Well, there you that go. That I can I do. I like that. I can yeah. manage that. You still have a record player. At I said put a record on. Yeah, believe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. We still have them. Yeah. yeah. At our house, yeah. yeah. I have we one. We did it last Thanksgiving, actually. We had, did you? Uh, my, my two My sister's two boys are blind. Yeah. So they had never... Uh, they they have a record player at home, yeah. but they wanted to hear Uncle Bill's record uh, records. Yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh so really? So we played some Led Zeppelin, some Beatles, the things oh, yeah? they liked. Oh yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they liked it. They Did liked you it have? A lot. Is that a collection from years years ago that you have? Or Between you what my rebuy? father had and mm -hmm. left yeah. us, mm -hmm. um, and my wife and I, wow. we probably have about five hundred albums. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. yeah. My son has a record player, and he has. <coughs> my collection and his grandparents collection wow. and uh, it, and he it's a different sound as yeah. you know as yeah. as you said and he just loves it it's it, it's a different way of listening to music it is any 78s I have some 78s. Oh, I have a Victrola. Yes, you have a Victrola. Yes. Yeah. We'll yeah. have to have you over and you yeah. can play yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's we so have much a fun. Victrola from yeah. my uh, my wife's um, grandmother mm -hmm. yeah. and have a stack of like that many records. And every once in a while we'll, we'll put one on and, and crank. It still works great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It has yeah. a, little, a little blue box of extra needles yes. yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's yes. mm -hmm. obviously yeah. has been there for a very long time <laughs> mm -hmm. it's just interesting you can still buy those yeah you yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can yes yeah where do you buy it where yeah, would you needles. buy? you can get them online somewhere. yeah you, i'm not you sure can get them online amazon. you go to amazon probably amazon yeah, yeah. you can yeah. i bought yeah. them go to the my, amazon my, store my brother yeah. Yeah. you get rid of the christmas chair and you go click click and you got <laughs> <need> a needle <laughs> Then you know you need to put a record on. Yeah. That's, all. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. A little bing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Well, I, I, I'm sure the public is enjoying this conversation. Yes, we need exactly. to adjourn. We should, we need to adjourn. Could I have a motion to adjourn? I move. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so. Microphones. <laughs>